Hi everyone, my name is Matt and I'm going to guide you through the installation of the MicroHard modem, both for the Voxel add-on version and for the standalone version. As always, before getting started, it's important to keep EST safety in mind. I'm using a EST mat and I'm grounded to keep our hardware safe. First, I'm going to cover the Voxel add-on version, which as you can see on the back side has a black J13 connector, as pointed out now, which the standalone does not have. The first step in the setup is to install the antennas onto the microhard modem. The locations are pointed out now and I'll demonstrate how to put them in. Carefully align the antenna to the connector on the board and give it a firm push down and it should click into place. Go ahead and connect the other antenna to the microhard modem and the next step will be to connect it to Voxel. Demonstrating now on Voxel Flight, although the process is the same on Voxel, locate the J13 connector on both your microhard modem and on Voxel, and go ahead and gently press those two together and they should fit and click into place. Next, go ahead and plug the micro USB connector from your Voxel or Voxel Flight into your computer and also go ahead and plug power back in. Now I'll meet you on the computer for the software installation. Here we are on Ubuntu version 18.4.5. On the right side I have the microhard modem quick start open that has all the information that you need for the setup. Um, the first step is to open a ADB shell and to open a bash shell. And the command to set up the modem is voxel-configure-modem. This will prompt you to enter in which kind of modem you're using. So go ahead and enter uh, 4 for the microhard modem. And you'll have the option of either choosing the default IP or making a custom one. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing a default IP. But for more information, make sure to check out the documentation at docs.modelai.com. A Voxel modem service will now be enabled and started in the background, and this service can be disabled at any time by running systemctl disable voxel hyphen modem and re enabled by running systemctl enable voxel hyphen modem. For the microhard modules to communicate correctly, one needs to be set up as a slave and the other as master. Model AI recommends having the add on as the master and the standalone as the slave. To reset the modules to default settings, hold the S2 button shown on screen now for 10 seconds. Firmly hold down the button and after 10 seconds you should see the LEDs on the microhard module start to flash. I'll now go through the installation of the standalone microhard modem, which requires an external power source for which I'll be using this DC power supply. The first step in the installation is to install the LTE antennas just as with the add-on board. The process is the same, just line up the antennas onto the connectors and firmly press them down and they should fit into place. The next step is to plug the microhard modem into your power source. For this tutorial I'll be using this DC power supply, although that may change depending on your use case. Above is a chart of the different amperages that are required to power your microhard modem depending on how you have it set up. Make sure to pause the video and check that out so that your microhard modem is properly powered. Once you've made sure that your power source is adequate for your microhard modem, go ahead and plug power in. The connector is located on screen now on the side of the board. The next step is to install the micro USB cable onto your microhard modem. The connector is located on the side as demonstrated now. Once you've got the micro USB adapter hooked up to your modem, go ahead and plug a micro USB cable from your modem to your computer. The last step is to activate the power source, in this case again the DC power supply. And as with the Voxel add-on board, we're going to reset the micro hard modem settings by holding the S2 button, in this case for 5 seconds. It's the same process as with the Voxel add-on. The location is shown on screen now. Go ahead and just firmly hold that down for five seconds and you'll see the LEDs blink on the modem. 
I'll meet you now on Ubuntu to see how the MicroHard modem is connected. Here we are again on Ubuntu version 18.4.5. If you open up your settings and go down to network, you should see that the MicroHard modem is properly detected by your computer. A MicroHard network is now created that allows your PC to communicate with Voxel. If you have any further questions, check out the documentation at docs.modelai.com, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.